Welcome to Backstage with Richard Ridge. My guest, I have known her since her Broadway debut in The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. You know her from such musicals as Into the Woods, Gypsy with Bernadette Peters, Wicked, Something Rotten, and Beautiful, The Carol King Musical. And millions of TV fans have fallen in love with her as drama teacher Miss Jen on the hit Disney Plus show, High School Musical, the musical, the series, which kicks <laughs> off season three on July 27th. Please say hello to my friend, Kate Riders. Hi. <laughs> you look sensational. I love, is it a dress? Is it a blouse? Um, what do you- it is, it's a dress. Um, yeah, it's a dress, but you know, we're Zooming. So this is what you get. I love it. First of all, how are you and where are you? Right now, I am in Michigan at my parents' house where I grew up. This is my dad's den, if you will. Picture of my parents when they started dating. Oh, my mom when she was tiny. Oh, me and my brother. Me and my brother when we're little. Look at that. That's me. Um, and daisies that I picked for us, you know, just to give it a little something extra. Uh, but yeah, I'm in Michigan and we're just seeing my parents and, you know, relaxing. I love that because I was like, wait, this is not the room we were in the last time. And I'm like, this is really fun. This is, no, this is, yeah, this is uh-huh. The Kate Rinders colon of Kate Rinders is childhood colon the series. What's it like being home again? Did you did you grow up in this house? Yes, I grew up in this house. Um, <laughs> it's pretty much the same. Um, and no, and it's, and it's great. I mean, I'm really, really lucky that I can still come home to the place that I grew up in. And so we are in Michigan and we're on this little lake, this smaller lake, Spring Lake, that then opens up into, it goes through Grand Haven into Lake Michigan. So if everyone wants to know, this is where we are. Um, so yeah, so we've been out on the boat a couple times and it's just, I mean, the pace is slower here and I really appreciate it. In a way, so, I did not when I was growing up. <laughs> of course, we never do. We never no. do until we come back there. Is your bedroom that you grew up in, is it still Kate's room? Uh, yes. And there's a little, well, actually, it's Luke's room now. But there's a little, like, the um, the light switch plate even says Kate's room, like, painted on it. I love this. Well, my mom doesn't get rid of those things. No mom does. Right. I think. Right. I love that. Okay. So you and your husband. We love Andrew, one of the biggest favorites here at Broadway World. And your son, Luke, how old is Luke now? He just turned five. That is I crazy. Know. I know. And Andrew isn't here with us. Andrew is doing Lempika at La Jolla Playhouse. Which I believe is coming to New York, right? That is what everyone says. Um, yeah. And we've heard the rumors and we've heard this and we've heard that. So I'm not going to say anything because who knows what is really going to happen. But yes, well, it is supposed to be Broadway bound. That's what they say. We hear it's sensational, and I cannot wait to talk to him about doing that show, too, because like I said, we miss it here at Broadway World, but, you know, just yeah, so yeah. you know. All right, now we have to get talking about Disney Plus series, which is uh, High School Musical, the musical, the series, which is getting ready to kick off its third season on July 27th. All right, how excited are you for season three? So, I mean, I just, I love this show. I love this job. I'm so lucky. I mean, I still, yes, yeah, season three, and I still pinch myself that I get to be Miss Jen. Um, but I think it's going to be really, really fun. And I'm so glad that it's coming out in the summer because it is summer camp. So it's perfect. And I think, um, I think everybody will love it, love it, love it. All right, let's talk. So the teaser has just dropped. It's a fabulous trailer for season three. So for the fans who may not know yet or have not seen the trailer yet, what's happening in season three? Like, where are the kids going? The kids have gone to summer camp. And if you recall, they have spoken about this camp before. It is when season one, all the, you know, in the pilot, where Nini and EJ hooked up and um, where Nini went on as Mary and the Librarian, blah, 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 blah. So this is the camp we have heard about, and they are there. Um, EJ is sort of the big man on campus at this camp, as we already knew. Um, and, but it's the first year there for... Um, for it's, I'm like for Dara, I mean, Courtney for Julie, I mean, Ashlyn. Right. So, um, for the kids, it's, it's the first summer for some of them. And then we meet some new kids and then, um, and then some old high school musical people who we have always loved, like 
Corbin Blue is in it. And what a great guy. What a great guy. And it, and it was, I mean, I know our show is sort of meta anyway, but, um, but it was also very meta in that, you know, he was their age when he did the movies and now, I mean, he was, he's not as old as me, but, um, but, you know, he was definitely being such a good example, such a good role model to them of what success at a young age can well, it doesn't have to make you not a nice guy is my point. You can stay wonderful and generous and kind. So um, I think they they learned a lot from him. It must be a big pinch me moment for them. I mean, to, this is a full circle moment to have yeah. fallen in love with him from High School Musical. And now he's on the series with these kids. I know. I know. And there are a couple little, I think like, I don't know, Easter eggs or something that if you really know the movies and you really know, like you will catch them, but I'm not going to tell you anything. Um, but we also have Jason Earls, who was on Hannah Montana, who when we started the show, um, he's sort of like the acting coach slash big brother slash also, um, I mean, everything, right? I mean, when we start, and, and actually they joke that we're like mom and dad of the show, but um, but so I mean, the very first day they were freaking out about Jason Earls because they grew up with Hannah Montana and, and it was great for him to be on the show because we've no, I mean, you know, we know that he knows how it's done, but just to watch him do it, it's like, oh yeah. I mean, some people have just got it and he does. Yeah. And then another special guest star is Jesse Tyler Ferguson. Yes. Yes. Well, and what, what, what do we need to say about that? I mean, he's perfect. He's wonderful. Um, and I don't know if we know, do we know what he does on the show or is that a secret? No, it's sort of just in the trailer. He has a, this one line. He says so we something. We see that he's there. Okay. So I'm not going to say anything except that it's good. Okay. It's good. And then you have Jojo Siwa's on the show too. Jojo Siwa. Now I didn't get to work with her, but, um, but apparently that's great and exciting. And um, anybody else? Well, yeah. there, are, there are a couple new kids who are very talented, of course. And because Meg Donnelly from the Zombies, she's on oh, it too. Yep, the star. Yep, yep, she's great. I mean, I was watching this, like the trailer. No, I watched it's, a over. it's a lot. It's so great though. And like you said, there's new kids this year too, right? Yeah, yeah. And they hold their own for sure. All right. How much fun have you had working on season three? I mean, like well, I've, I've talked to you about season one and two. And like I said, I know it's just crazy that you live in this world that you absolutely adore. What was it like doing season three or still doing it? Well, yeah, we're done. Um, well, <laughs> season three, well, what was, I mean, what was so fun for me is because normally Miss Jen is at East High, right? Like Miss Jen exists at East High. That is it. Unless, you know, she's like, following the kids out on their, you know, fun outings. But this is definitely Miss Jen following her kids wherever they may go, even if it's a long drive away. Um, but also Miss Jen being there at the drop of a hat if they need her. So, I mean, I sort of love that, that, that I'm not just their teacher, you know, that I am important and that they are important to me anytime, anywhere, here I come. But so, yeah, so it's a different setting, but it's the same love. See, that's why I love watching the trailer. I'm like, oh my God, all my favorites show up in this. And it's like, you know, there you are helping somebody out. It's only, they only give you this little quick little snippet, but like, oh, there she is. She's going to help someone out during the audition process. You know it. You know it. Yeah. If they need me. Yeah. All right. Now the big musical they're doing at summer camp, it's already been announced. You can talk about that. I mean. Yeah. What? Doing. Frozen. And I don't know if they have discussed who is playing whom, but all I, so I am not telling you, except I will tell you that, um, that I did see some performances and things happen that have never been done like that before and just are going to blow your mind, melt your face. I mean, all of it. So I'm so excited for everyone to see it. It's like they've taken High School Musical, the series to a whole other level. Like each year it gets, it blows up even more. And you're oh, yeah. I oh, can't yeah. believe where they've gone with this. And now this, it's so exciting to watch this trailer for this, for this season. It's so great. It's so exciting. 
It really is. It really is. And the kids, I mean, you know, when we started too, you didn't, well, I didn't, nobody knew them as well. And now we really, really know them and we're really invested. And also I think they've gotten a little older, a little more confident. They, you know, they've grown into their own skin and it's really showing. So I was going to ask you, what have you learned from these kids? They're so talented. Everybody on this show. I, honestly, I feel like what I learned from them is to just have confidence in yourself. And it's so, it's so funny. Cause you know, it's so much easier to give advice than to take your own. And so <laughs> it's so much easier for me to, to want them to be kind to themselves and to recognize just how talented they are. And then, but you know, they're also very old souls and they're very, very mature and professional. And so they do encourage me just the same, you know, they're so sweet and they show up to watch things that they're not in just to cheer me on. Um, yeah. And at the end of season two, we had a little gathering where we watched all the musical numbers um, because, you know, season two is a really weird COVID crazy pause and start um, season. And so we did, we just watched everybody's number and we were all just so supportive and crying and we're a family. I mean, that's, that's what it is. We're a family and I'm the mama. Of course you are. Yeah. When did you film season three? I mean, what was the time period? Was um, like. You know what, I'm not even exactly sure, but it, it went pretty fast uh, and it, it actually filmed in L.A. And I was still in Salt Lake because um, Luke was in preschool and we have a house there on a cul-de-sac. We have all these friends, these neighbors. And so we just we stayed um, and we're still there. And I mean, I don't know if we're ever leaving. I think I might live in Utah. I mean, Luke definitely is a U Utahn. U Utahn? <laughs> I love Utah. Um, Utah, um, Salt Laker, Salt Lake City, or I, who knows? Um, but we, yeah, we love it there. And so, yeah, no, season three went pretty fast. And um, and I'm allowed to say we're doing season four, right? Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. Okay, great, great. And we're and we're about, we'll start that soon. And that's supposed to go pretty fast too. So, you know, we're getting in the groove. It must be so cool. Like, oh my God, season three's been announced and it's ready to kick off. And then all of a sudden they're like, and by the way, we're also doing a season four too. So it's like, yes. I mean, just, I, I know, just tears of happiness all the time. But, but that's Disney and Disney Plus. I mean, you never hear this stuff. Everyone's waiting to find, have a, has a show been picked up again? And you're like, we're, we're kicking off season three. And we're also announcing that season four is right behind it. You know? Well, I think they know what they've got with yeah. these kids. And they just know too. It's like strike while it's hot. These kids are just so great. And I mean, they're not, they're not getting old anytime soon. Right. That's me. But, um, no, but, they, but it is like, they're great and actually get them now before they go off and do their world domination things. Right. All right. Well, we have to talk about, I want to mention Julia Lester, who of course plays Ashlyn. She just made her Broadway debut. I yeah. mean, I, for her, of course, as Little Red in Into the Woods, which I got to see at City Center first, watch her do it there. And then I was with her on opening night on Broadway. She is so lovely and so Oh, I know. Oh, and, I know. and I'm so jealous of you that you've seen it already. I, I'm plotting my like one day trip to New York so I can go see her in it because I cannot stand the idea of, of missing it. Um, no, but really, I mean, from day one, and Julia knows this, from day one, I was just like, come here. Like, come here. You are so talented. You can do anything. You can sing anything. You can dance and act. I mean, she has more talent than anybody real. Well, maybe everybody realizes it now, but, um, but no, it is in her blood. It is in her soul. It was just a matter of time. I mean, really now Broadway is going to be fighting to get her back. I mean, EGOT, right? I don't know. EGOT by 25. E I, I, it happens. She's I mean, so but besides being so talented, she's so nice. And to watch her, I mean, she stops the show as Little Red, just stops the show. So I want to ask you, of course, you know, um, you were in the Broadway revival of Into the Woods. I, I mean, was. I mean, several roles, Cinderella, Little Red Riding Hood, Milky White, and Rapunzel. Did you go on for Little Red? I, I was mainly there to cover Little Red. Um, uh, and again, I went on a lot and we started out of town at the Amundsen. So they have like the kid rules. And so I was, how old was I? 21, 22, something. Anyway, so I was not actually a child, whereas our little red was. Um, but so, yeah, I went on a bunch and um, 
And so, yeah, I love that show and I love that role, but honestly, I know Julia is way better than I ever was. And I can't wait to see her do it. Cause you two have, have you had any conversation about this yet? Or you have to have a conversation with her about what it was like for you playing her and what, what she's going through now. Oh, I mean, mainly we text, but honestly, our texts are more just like, I miss you. How's Luke? How's your family? How's yeah. Broadway? How, I love you. Like, you know, those sorts of things. Yeah. 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 Um, like I, said, I mean, I mean she, she can ask. I, she doesn't need any advice from me. That's for sure. Well, it's yeah. mainly me just being like, I know you're the best one ever. I'm so proud of you. She's Lots so good. Movies. But it's just so good to see all the kids at, at High School Musical. I'm looking at all of them. And boy, they're all so talented from, from season one to season two to season three. And I could only yeah. imagine what they're going to do in season four. I know. And I don't know exactly what's happening in season four yet either. But I think... I think I know that there are, I've heard, you know, whispers of auditions that are happening. So I know that there will be new people. And, you know, I also, I was at the Jimmy's this year and, you know, and Tim did say like, keep an eye out. I mean, he's no fool. He knows there is major talent out there and he wants it. And so far he just sees it and he gets it. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, I love seeing all the new kids. Although it's going to be hard for me and Miss Jen as these kids graduate. So I really need some new kids coming in. But they will never take the place. I mean, I'll just have more kids. Lots and lots of kids. Or just hold them back like they did in Greece. (laughs) Right? You flunked. No, you flunked. I will not pass you because I need you next season in my musical. I need you for season five and six and seven. I know, for job security. Let's talk about the success of this show. It has been amazing. I have talked to so many parents with kids like, oh, we watch this together. I mean, people have like grown up with this. I mean, let's just talk about the success of of High School Musical, the series, and, and what you think about that and how it blew up so quick. Well, what's I think what's so great about it is that it is sort of... Um, you know, in the beginning, they were saying we would love it to be sort of like a Pixar movie that appeals to all different age groups, right? So you can watch it with your tiny little three-year-old and you can watch it with the grandparent or whoever, and everybody will find something that they love and relate to. Um, But I think it's also because it is based on a prior world. So that sort of gets the middle age kids that aren't parents yet, but aren't kids anymore, but they're the people that remember it when they were kids. So it's, int- I mean, it's really amazing to see who, who watches it, who loves it and who, you know, reaches out to me about it. Um, but I would say mainly it is the littler kids who stop me and who, who know it's me. Yeah. That's gotta be wild. <laughs> Miss Jen, I see her. She lives in our, na- she lives in our cul-de-sac. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe they do care, but I don't think they do because they, I think they've realized it's just Kate. It's just, it's just Kate. Although they did, um, you know, they have like fun things in Utah that they do. And one of the things they do around Valentine's day is they heart attack people. So it's sort of like a boo or I've gotten booed too, but you know, they put like Valentine's all over your front door to heart attack you. And it was like, we love you, Miss Jen, Miss Jen. (laughs) Yeah. Love that. You know, um, I just want to talk about Miss Jen because I mean she's so tailor made for you. I mean, what do you love the most about playing, playing her and everything else? I mean, it's just it's that perfect melding of like actor and material, the material and actress. I mean, it's just oh, so well, great. Well, thank you. I mean, I I feel the same way. I mean, even when I when I auditioned for her, I read the breakdown and I said, "Oh, well, she's me." So okay, she's me. Um, but I actually think the line has blurred as it's gone on even more so because. Yeah. Um, and because it's like, I am living Miss Jen's experience and that we both came from being an actress and now we're a teacher and now we're surrounded by these younger people who we are so invested in and we care so much about. And also, you know, it's that, that next chapter of getting so much fulfillment from watching these young people succeed. So I mean, I don't know, right? It's chicken or the egg. Like, has Miss Jen changed me or have I brought myself to Miss Jen? I, both, yes, yeah. Perfect. What has High School Musical taught you about life and how important theater and the arts are? That's what I take away from this show too. 
Yes. And I agree. And I think, you know, being in the business for a while now, um, it is easy to get, you know, to get sad, to get frustrated, to get just to sort of feel the trudge. Sometimes I was like, oh, what am I doing? Um, but then this show really, it's, it's like, oh, right. That's why I fell in love with musical theater. Oh, that's right. It gives everybody this one thing they're all working toward and it's, it's supportive. It's not competitive. It's you celebrate your differences. I mean, it's all the reasons I fell in love with it. So it's been great actually to be reminded of that. Um, because yeah, growing up is hard. Yeah. But that's, it shows both sides of this. It shows how kids grow up and find friends and relationships and all this other thing. And it, and it shows their love of theater too and the arts. Yeah. You know, I was going to ask you, you know, was there a defining moment for you when you said, I want to be an actress and try to make a living at this? Did you go to a summer camp? I know this all happened to you in high school. Was um, there a summer camp that did musicals that you went to? No, it was, it was similar, but it was actually a summer stock theater in Muskegon, Michigan. It was called Cherry County Playhouse and it moved down from Traverse City. And I was doing this summer day camp through this, the community theater, the civic theater. And I was maybe 12 and the woman in charge said to my mom, oh, you know, they're looking for kids to be in Gypsy at Cherry County. So I think Kate should audition for that. And, you know, long story short, um, that's where I ended up doing Annie and Secret Garden and Wizard of Oz and everything. And so every summer I had this magic capsule, but it was, it was more than summer camp because um, the producer, Neil Rosen, would bring in directors from New York and also equity people. And so I really did get to see the real, the professional side. And then, um, and then I still, ha still have my normal life at, you know, during the school year, but it was, it did make me realize, oh, you can do this as a, as a career. And also it was the first time I got to meet all these different kinds of people. And I really just was like, these are my people. These, these are my people. And I, I'll wait here until I'm, it's time for me to join them. But that's where I'm going. I love that. I'll wait here until it's time for me to join them. I love that. Okay, so that, that summer you did Gypsy. Who did you play that summer in Gypsy? Oh, I was a newsboy. And in Uncle Jocko's Kid, I think I had my violin. But then I was a newsboy. I was the sailor, I believe. I did cartwheels across the stage. Um, but Rita Moreno was Mama Rose. I'm just saying it was not a shabby summer stock theater. Okay, guys. Rita Moreno. And her real life daughter played Louise. And we had the baby June from Broadway, from the Tyne Daily Broadway. And maybe also the Tulsa. I mean, listen, we had awesome people. Wow. And, we got to, and I got to just like watch them and learn from them. Every okay. Summer. All right. Well, speaking of Gypsy, you got to do that on Broadway with Bernadette Peters. You played June. I mean, favorite memory. Bernadette's one of my all-time favorite people. I mean, as she is for everybody. I mean, what was it like playing June opposite Bernadette Peters? A dream come true. Exactly what you think it is. Um, yeah, no, I grew up loving her, knowing who she was, loving her completely. Um, but the thing about her that I think our whole cast and probably anybody who ever works with her, the thing that I treasure the most is watching her be such an amazing leader of that group. And and some of my best memories are, you know, between shows, she would come up to my dressing room in her robe and she would sit down on my little chaise and she would just say, so who are we dating and what's going on and tell me how you are. And just, she didn't need to do that, but she was a mama to everybody. And um, yes, I mean, talk about role models, icons, you know, people we can only try to be a little yeah. bit like, yeah. I love her. All right. Broadway debuts. Like I said, Julia's just made hers. I mean, she said it's the most incredible thing. It's mind blowing for her. She couldn't even put the whole thing into words. Yours was in the adventures of Tom Sawyer, where you were a standby for yeah. a few roles in that, right? Amy and Becky, right? Yes. But this is my question to you. Isn't it your Broadway debut if you're in the show or do you need to step foot on the stage on Broadway? That's a good one. Because, okay, because we went out of town to New Haven no. and there I went on as like four different kids. Um, 
but then Tom Sawyer wasn't a huge hit and I never actually went on stage at the Minskoff then. So I don't know what we're going to count, but if we don't count that, then my Broadway debut would be in Into the Woods when I went on as a pig and I bowed as a pig. All right. They, they, you know what that is? That is just character building, everyone. Dreams come true and character building. You have to change your Wikipedia page because I think that's fascinating. You have to add a whole paragraph saying, or just saying, so when is actually a Broadway debut? Is it in a show that came to Broadway, but I didn't step on stage at the Minskoff, but yeah, I did the it's technically whole- technically still a Broadway credit, right? Of course it is. I mean, or do you, and I mean, and can, is it okay if you're a pig or do you have to play a person? Like where, what's the, where are we splitting the hairs here? Well, I think the next time I talk to her, I'm gonna say she made her Broadway debut in the events of Tom Sawyer and in Into the Woods as a And pig. her physical actually going on the stage. You're right. That's maybe, maybe I had a double debut. But okay, well, I like double debuts because I don't think anybody's had those, I don't think. I'm okay. sure it's, I'm sure there's someone else who was the swing in a not hugely successful show. <laughs> Interesting. Right? Okay. There must be. Well, we have to talk about this show right here. I showed you well, this. Well, there you go, y'all. There you go. This is my beach ball, which I've never blown up from Good Vibrations. I know you had the time of your life because there were so many incredible people in that show with you. Actually, isn't it crazy when you think about it? Well, we were all very young, right? So... I mean, in a way, it's kind of like High School Musical. It's like, who knows where they're going to be in 15 years, 20 years? Who knows? Already, Olivia is Olivia. So who know, who knows? Um, yes, but Good Vibrations. That was, that was a, a beautiful moment in my life. And I was definitely on stage in that one, in a bikini. So a lot of me was right there on stage. I remember seeing all of you like do the, the you know, the swim or whatever, the monkey or yeah, the, yeah, and the, and the whatever. Yeah. I told you my family loved that show. They, to this day, they say one of the best times they ever had was seeing that show and then meeting you all backstage at Good Vibrations. Uh, will you <laughs> tell them thank you very much? I'm glad. Well, it was supposed to be fun. I mean, we never tried to pretend it was like super fancy. It was always fun. Yeah. All right. So the last time you were on Broadway, of course, was as with Cynthia in Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Do you miss us? Do you want to come home again to do that eight shows a week? It's in your what what it's in your muscle memory forever. Listen, I mean, do you I am an actress. We go where we're asked to go. I mean, yes, of course I want to do something else on Broadway. I love and yes, it's my first love, like you said, right? Theater is in me. But that's also why high school musical, the musical, the series is the best job I could have ever asked for because it's still in there, you know? The theater is still part of it. Um, but yeah, can you talk to somebody and get me um, get me a job on Broadway? I'll get you a job in between seasons four and five. So Perfect. You can, can do a quick Perfect. 11 run or something in something you want to do. Great. Is there something that I can do with Julia? I'm not, I really don't have an answer. I'm just raising this question. Oh, so the, the Broadway World fans will answer this. Trust me, when they see this awesome. interview, I'm like, what could you two do together? Okay, we're putting this out there. Broadway World fans, what could Kate Rinders? We used to say we used to say we could do hairspray together, but I don't I don't know. She needs to do what she wants to do. And then then I'll just be whatever I can be in it. Okay, so the next time I run into her, that okay. I'm going to ask her the next time I see her out and about, I'm going to be like, a Broadway show, 12 weeks in between a season. Oh, for both of you, what would you like to do together? That's interesting. That's a really, really great thing. What could it be? I don't know. Okay, I'll think about oh, it too. Oh, trust me. It, the Broadway World fans will let you know. So You're finally, like, you have got this. They have a list already. Okay, awesome. Oh, already so finally what are you enjoying the most about season three that get, that's kicks off on july 27th with high school musical the musical the series season three is really a summer of fun and it's a great time to watch the kids in a different setting just let loose and really come into their own even more and um and yes and their production of frozen is amazing. So I can't wait for everyone to see all the different things that happen no. in season three. 
<laughs> this was so great to catch up with you again. I, can't I love you. seeing you. I love seeing you and you always look so cute. It's all an illusion. I set, I set myself on my little Zoom box. Like I had pajamas on the bottom. <laughs> it was. Like I said, <laughs> I adore you. Like I said, fabulous with season three. Love to Andrew and of course your son Luke and have the best time with your parents and everybody watch season three. Once again, it kicks off on July 27th of High School Musical, the musical, the series. Stay well, everybody. And we'll see you at Disney+. Plus. Kate, Yay! love you. Let's go. And why are you all coming to the world's greatest camp for two weeks? Because there's a secret celebrity! <laughs> I was actually looking for because we all love each other and, you know, something, something wildcats. Welcome, folks. I'm just going to need to collect your phone, snacks, and all electronic devices. It's only for two weeks. But Sasha doesn't know that. Sasha is your phone. I this summer, Camp Shallow Lake has been selected for a very special opportunity to tell you all about it. Mr. Corbin Blue! You guys are gonna be the first camp to put on Frozen! Surprise! Best summer ever. It's my first camp. Should we spread out our bed assignments or do the new girl cluster? My first boyfriend. Just hitting me now that you two are going to be a thing all summer. My first time really going out for the lead in the show. It is time to introduce you to your director, EJ Caswell. It just freaking out a little bit. Shake your money maker, Caswell. Show me how you feel. Start, start, start the party. I cannot focus on anything but auditions right now. What are the two main guys' names in Frozen again? One is, I want to say, Gary. None of them are Gary. You can't just Zephron your way through auditions this time. I promise you, the best is yet to come. Scream! What's up, Wildcats? Feels like these last few years have been leading up to something big. Nothing is going to ruin our perfect summer together. <laughs> <laughs> one could say the stakes have never been higher. And one will. The stakes have never been higher. Oh.